Is this working now? Oh my gosh, you guys. It's always something. No and no. Here you are. You're up. I'm up. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know what's going on with technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful night. It's Saturday night. Um, you guys, I got to tell you guys how much I love you. Um, last night, remember I told you I was looking for my ring. I was looking for, I really felt like I needed to wear this ring. So I went to looking for it and I could not find it. I mean, I looked everywhere. I looked next to my bed. I looked on the couch and I, I was kind of panicking because I really needed the red gold stone. And I was like, where, where could it be? Where could it have went? And I literally was looking everywhere. I mean, I even searched under the couch because I thought, you know, when I'm tired and I take them off, maybe, it, I, maybe I set it on the coffee table and maybe it fell off. Well, hello boss. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. Um, well, what happened was uh, I was looking at, I was frantic. I needed that ring. I mean, the, the energy yesterday was so weird, you guys. And I don't, I don't even know what it was, but it was something weird. And so I, I really felt like I, I got offline with you guys. You guys know my mojo was just was not there. And so, um, when I talk about you guys being the fantastic people that you are, you truly, truly are because it was like, God heard me and spirit was there. It was so strange. And then I heard from an angel. I really did. And she knows who she is. So I just have to say, when I started talking to her, it calmed me down. I got so calm. And I looked down on my desk and there my jewelry box was. I have a, another jewelry box, but there my other jewelry box was. And I, I was talking to her and I lifted the lid and there it was. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have looked everywhere for this. And it wasn't until she was like, I was talking to her that everything just calmed down. So I guess what I'm saying is you never know when your angels are around you. And you guys really are freaking angels. I just want you to know that. So I had a really good... After I talked to her, my angel, I went to sleep and I slept like a baby. I slept really good. And so I just want to say thank you. Thank you, all of you guys, for being who you are. Your energy, your kindness, your love. It's, it's amazing. It is honestly amazing. So let me see who is here. Hi, Ace Fla. We have in the house, we've got M&A Mystery Taurus. Thank you guys for dropping in. Yellow Shirt Dad, thank you as well for dropping in. Designs and Collectible Gifts by DC. Good to see you, DC. Face the Ace, hello. He's got his coffee. We got Molly Goldman. Good to see you, Molly. Molly said Sheena, Ron, Shea, and Dakota. Thank you, Molly, for coming. I, I miss you. Um, we got Cool Gamer. He's a fantastic channel, fantastic supporter. Good to see you, Cool Gamer. We got Boss Jove. He's from Asia. Thank you for coming. We've got the Bud Files. That's Sue. She's fantastic. Thank you, Sue, for dropping in. Mid Redler. There's my Shay Shay. She's at her dad's. Good to see you, Shay. We miss you. Um, we've got Gina Gay Sales. Jury, hello. How are you doing? Thank you for coming. Welcome. Welcome. Um, we have Spooky Zombie Graveyard in the house. He's been a fantastic supporter the whole six years I've been on YouTube. So, Spooky, thank you for dropping in. We have Jonna Langtham in the house. Hello, Jonna. We've got Nightmare44. Nightmare44, I sent you an email. I hope you received your email because you have a Christmas present that is coming. I, you know what it is. If you want to share that, I can share that. But uh, Gypsy JJ bought her a sphere. Oh, I just told. She already knows, though. Um, and so that'll be going to Nightmare. So Merry Christmas, Nightmare. Um, let's see who else do we have here. We have Ace. Thank you, Ace. I've known Ace for a long time, too. 
Um, let's see, who else do we have? Yankee Kyle, there's my brother. He is a good friend, guys. He's a fantastic person. And he has hit his 900 on his subscribers. So that is a fantastic thing, especially when you've been working so hard. So I'm so happy for you, Kyle. Your hard work's paying off, brother. So we also have Moon Over Miami. I was watching his videos. I was binge, watch I was binge watching his playlist. I was enjoying it. We've got... So I think I covered everybody. So we have some fantastic stuff. It's a blowout sale. I'm trying to move some stuff. It's Christmas time and I'm offering something up that you will, I, I have worked with it. It's fantastic. And it is a high dollar rock. You guys, it's not just a rock, it's a sphere. And it's the one that I've been working with. And I feel the energy in it is fantastic. And it's, it's the biggest sphere I've ever owned in my entire life. And I am now passing that down to someone else because it's Christmas time. And I know a lot of young people collect rocks and spheres just like us, which is a really cool thing because, you know, it's like those spheres, those rocks are like time capsules. I mean, they've been on this earth forever. And so it's, it's going to be pricey, but I want you to know the worth of it is twice that. So if you do decide, if you don't want it, then I'm good with that. But I can't afford to lose money on it because I paid a lot for it because I knew what it was and I knew what it was worth. And so um, it's the big, like I said, it's the biggest fear I've ever offered you guys. I mean, I come pretty close with the uh, uh, the quartz crystal sphere, uh, but this one blows that one away on size and it's gorgeous. It's a black opal. I've sh showed y'all once before. And it's fantastic. So I will offer that up if anybody needs it and say they can't afford it right now. If you need to make payments on it within a, a, a decent, you know, not like six months worth of paying or nothing. But if you need help, just email me, let me know, or, you know, say something. Um, we've got, there's Ducky. Hi, Ducky. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We got Ducky in the house. We've got Cheryl Green. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you for dropping in. We've got Magical Reality Channel in the house. Hello, Carol. Good to see you. So today is, yeah, triple. It, it's worth a lot. But I'm going to give it to you guys at a great deal. Because you guys know me. I This spring, I've got to have a little bit of money. Because after by the time I pay taxes, I still have to have money to be able to score you guys more deals. So, I've got to move stuff because that's the way a business works, <laughs> you know. Hello, Nulu. Good to see you. Poker Rossi's in the house. Hello, Poker Rossi. He's my friend from the UK. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, so, I've got fantastic stuff for you guys. i got rings, too. we got rings. We're going to blow those out, too. So, if you see something that you want, um, I'm offering them cheap. If you see something you want, grab it. Um... Let's see. Oh, I, I, well, just fantastic. I, I don't know what else to say other than fantastic. Um, so there's a lot going on. Face the Ace, thank you so much. No, yeah, Pek, I'm sorry. Pekarasi is in Norway. UK is in UK. <laughs> All right, let me find, let me turn off my air cleaner. Let me move this over here and I'll put that to use so that I have that right there. All right, so first up, we have a glass bracelet. We're just going to, oh, if you never shopped with me before, I have a job form at, pinned at the top. Um, I get you the best shipping prices I can possibly get you. Uh, I use Shippo and Pirate Ship. Whichever one gets you the best price is what I use. I don't add no sticklers to it. I give you the exact price that I get because that's how I roll. Um, I believe in blessing people and I feel like it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing my part if I was overcharging. So that's how I roll. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat or email me either way. Um, all these people have bought from me and they can pretty much tell you how I roll. Um, I invoice every Sunday. I get you shipped out by Wednesday. Um, what else? I think that about covers it. Um, I do ship to other places. So if you would uh, like to purchase something and you want to know what on um, say four pounds of something would cost, let me know. I can look it up for you and give you an estimate. And that way, when you come back to buy, you know what to expect. And it's not too terribly bad, to be honest with you. Um, 
So let's see. Uh, she packs fantastic and, and quick. I do my best. This is my passion, you guys. This is what I've always wanted to do. This is something that Gypsy JJ, I totally missed that message in chat. Yeah, you were asleep, I figured. <laughs> it was kind of late because uh, I don't usually go super late anymore, guys. And so I figured she was asleep. I actually missed it, too. I actually, and, you know, she's like, she did. Did you see my message? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I got you. I got you. So it is all good. So, yes, you got blessed by Gypsy JJ. You guys send good energy to Gypsy JJ. I'm not going to say what she needs it for. If she wants you to know, she'll tell you. But send her prayers and good energy because she has a lot coming ahead of her. And you guys, that's what we're about. We love, love, love each other. And it always shows in here. Love always shows. We always have each other's back. And we're always there to support each other regardless of what we're going through. Because God knows we've all been through something. We've all been through something. So let's go ahead. Hello, Brandy's Unboxing and more. Thank you for coming. Storms, Radios, and Cats. Thank you for coming, Barry. We've got uh, Brandy's Unboxing. Hello, Brandy. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. So, uh, Shauna Muisen is in the house. She's a reseller, too. Not good to see you. Um, so, you guys, check these people out. I mean, you know, if they want to drop when they're going live to do their sell, I don't have a problem with that. You can just say, hey, I'm going live this day because I believe in, I'm not selfish. I believe in blessing everybody, and that's how I roll. Um... It just seems like the more I bless, the more blessings I, I get. I mean, that's what it feels like to me. You guys might have noticed that I started... Let me... I got a a shadow. You guys might have noticed I started going lunch at lunchtime. I had people request because they're on the keto diet or whether they're... You know, what whatever diet. Because, you know, I don't judge anybody. You can be whatever you want to be and I'm going to love you the same. And... uh so I started doing, because I always do my lunch at 2, so I started doing my lunch and just going live so that people can interact with people. Because this is a hard time of the year. It's hard for me. This is a hard time of year for me. So I know there's a lot of other ones that are that are missing their loved ones. And, and that's why I said I had an angel yesterday. Because I was really, really, Christmas is hard. And uh, I've done, I did really good at Thanksgiving, which is usually not normal. But I did. And so, and then my angel reached out to me and I was like, you know, he knows, he knows. So he does send those angels to check on us, you know, and say, I love you. And if you ever need me and you know what, I think we should all be that way, honestly, because it totally changed the whole energy. I mean, because I, like I said, I couldn't find my ring. Everything was so intense. And then. After I heard her, it was like her voice. It was like, first of all, I was drawn to her. And then the voice, it was like everything just changed. Everything just changed. So it was definitely a blessing, a blessing. There's, there's Gypsy JJ. Hello, Gypsy JJ. She's fantastic. She bought Nightmare that gift, guys. That is so kind. So let's get busy. You know what I'm missing now? I'm missing my other rings. But I did find this one. Which made me happy. I was panicking, guys. <laughs> you know you have those certain things that you're really attached to. But with me, my jewelry are my rocks. Like, if I don't want to hold a rock, I can put on my jewelry. And I'm still getting the same benefit as if I was holding the rock. And that's why I wear a lot of rock jewelry. Or I wear a lot of rock rings. Because it really does work that way. I mean, in my opinion, it works that way. Let me grab my rings because I feel naked. That's more. So I got some really cool rings, you guys. Let me grab this. Because I don't want to throw off my energy again. I'm going to set that there. That's the only problem. There you are. I feel naked without my... I feel naked without my rings, guys. Let's see. What what feels right? That, that's what I always look for. What what is it that feels right? And and that's it's I'm the same way with my rocks. What is it that feels right? What is it that I need today? All right, I'm good now. I think so. I think I'm just gonna go with just like this. 
I feel a little plain today. All right. So I also got some other rocks and I've also got a fantastic elephant, you guys. So up first, we will do this beautiful glass bracelet. Talk about ready for Christmas. Let me get that bad boy up close to the camera so you can see the sparkles like a diamond in the sky. That is so freaking pretty, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? The starting bid is $3, and it is so pretty. It's on a good stretchy, and it is fantastic. I love sparklies. Y'all know that. That is no secret. I love sparklies, and that is so sparkly, you guys. Let me cover because of the Christmas tree. I gotta look down to see the the chat. Hi, big movie fan. Thank you for dropping in. So that is gorgeous. That is definitely something. It's a red. It's a red with A B A B sparklies in it. It's really pretty. Fantastic. It is boss. It's fantastic. I I got some kind of I don't know what the deal is with my chat, but my chat's crazy. I bet there's a nightmare. I bet there's a nightmare. Oh my god, nightmare. I was looking at the chat and I said nightmare. I bet there's a lag. <laughs> Not a nightmare. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Scratch Masters in the house. Hello. You guys, don't forget to hit the thumb for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. And share me out, you guys. Andrew's Northwest Toy Coins. Good to see you, brother. I hope you're doing well. He's in Alaska, you guys, so it's snowing there. All right, let me grab this fantastic ring. Hold on, I gotta dig it out. I gotta, that is a fantastic cabochon. Let me dig this out of here. That's fantastic. I'll show you all that. I got to be careful not to mix it up because I've got gold and diamonds and, and this black diamond too in here. So I try to keep everything separate, but then I find something fantastic and then I end up sticking it in there. You know how that goes. Now, some of these rigs I did not clean with the silver cloth because I sell them so cheap that it would literally where in the heck did I do with that there it is turquoise um I sell them so cheap it would literally take me forever to clean them all I tried guys I did that I tried and I lost <laughs> I couldn't keep up all right, let me get my ring sight. Let me show you this first, then I'll show you. Well, I'll go, uh, well, I don't know which one to show you first. I'll show you this first. It came from that lady that went out of business that retired. Um, it She made jewelry. She made rock jewelry, natural jewelry. Uh, this is a 30 by 59 millimeter abalone twist. It is gorgeous, too. That is an abalone twist. It goes on a necklace. It's beautiful. It already... Oh, there went the turquoise. Uh, it already has the, the jump hoop on there. I think you call it jump hoop, jump loop, something like that. Uh, let me grab my measure. Forgot my measure. That way. Oh, this way. Uh, it's on that... How am I supposed to... Here, if you'll just walk over there and get it. Hold on, he's going to grab my measure and I can tell you how long it is. Oh, I guess I already said how long it was. Duh. 30 millimeters by 59 millimeters. And now he has to come back to his chair because that is pretty. Let me get it up close so you can see just how pretty that is. It is gorgeous, you guys. All right, starting bid on this will be $3 for the abalone twist. It's brand new. She never used it. It was in her collection. I even love the backside. The backside is not polished or anything, and that is gorgeous. That looks like uh, Nightmare's uh, Aurora Borealis. That is beautiful, you guys. And now that I have my 
measuring tape. Hey, I lost my tea somewhere. Did I leave it in the kitchen? Oh, okay. Let me put that up there so they can see it. It is fantastic. It is really pretty. I've really been into wearing abalone, abalone lately. I, I don't know what it is, but lately I've been drawn to shells. We got Shauna Muisen at $3. If there's no other interest, we will count it down. Hello, Mirror Effect Channel. Thank you so much for dropping in. All right, let's go ahead and count it down. That's You know, it's hard to get abalone. All right, going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Shauna. Thank you, Streamlabs. Yeah, I'm on Streamlabs right now. I've got this fantastic designer necklace, too, that I'll show you guys. Here you go. All right, let me find the turquoise ring that I had on my finger that fell off my finger. Where did you go? I, You know, I don't want to run it over with my chair. Believe it or not, I've done that before. Is that a this sign? Way. This way. To where the tripod. Right there. Oh, Thank goodness he has good eyes, you guys, because I don't. <laughs> All right, so this ring is fan freaking tastic. It's Native American. I'm looking for. Up, oh, it is stamped. It is stamped with sterling, which I already knew it was 95. It was a part of my my sterling silver lot. Here is the back. Let me see if we can get that to show what we wanted to show. Come on, focus. Here, now, this is the fantastic part. You've got turquoise and you've got coral on this ring. And you've... Uh, let me get it to focus. Focus. Let me... Okay, let me get to focus again. Focus. I'm about to just switch to my tablet. It don't have a focus. Or it does, but for some reason it doesn't with StreamYard. Anyway, it has a feather on the side. Underneath there, two squigglies. And then... Shelly would like to know what size. There. Finally focus. If I move Shelly, you'll never see it again. It's very pretty. The size on it is... Ooh, that was a lot of work. Roughly about seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter. So there is the seven right there. Yep, seven. And then it's right there. There's the eight. So it's right there's where it is. It's very pretty. Let me show you what it looks like on my finger. Let me take off my other rings. Y'all don't let me sell my other rings because you know me. All right, let me put this one on. Let me cover my face so that. Very pretty. Starting bid on this is And it's turquoise and coral. Okay. We shall move on to the next. Oh, that's hard work, you guys. <laughs> All right, I have an abalone ring that's fantastic. I was keeping it, but I was like, you know what? I can't keep everything. All right, it is a size 8. Abalone. Beautiful abalone. It's a honker ring. Honker, honker ring. Beautiful blues in there. When the light hits it, it lights up. Let me show you the back. It's got a lot of sterling silver. 925 sterling silver. Very big, fancy. It's 
Mancy. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. Starting bid on this one is also $20. And it's beautiful abalone. The abalone is fantastic. And that is a big statement ring. It's, it's not tiny. It's a statement ring. Scratch Master, thank you for coming. Hi, Junkyard Gamer. Good to see you. Thank you for dropping in. All right. If there is no interest, we will move on to the next. Good to see you. Is Blood Dragon in here? Hi, Blood Dragon. Thank you for coming. I'm going to set that there. Let me... Oh, all right. I'm going to show you the sphere now. It is black opal. If you guys want to take the time to look up what they cost, you will find out. But you'll also find out that this, the price that I'm selling it at is crazy and that if you resell it, um, go way up on it um, because it is worth a lot. So it is black opal. Let me let me grab it. It's 12 pounds. It is a 12 pound sphere. It is a 12 pound sphere. Black opal. It's as big as my freaking face. And it's hold on, let me come closer. Without knocking over the camera. I don't know. I mean, I can wrap the tape. Or, my caliper won't. My caliper won't even go this big. My caliper won't even go this big. But it is 12 pounds. No damages on it. It's absolutely perfect. It is black opal. That's fantastic. Do you know how hard it is to make a sphere of this size perfect? It's hard it's difficult that's why spheres cost so much welcome in sherry welcome in sherry and sherry thank you for coming hello cherries welcome um so this is 12 pounds you guys this is a big sphere the starting bit on this sphere i only have one this is the only one i've ever seen in my life i can't even afford the small black opal i mark Black opals are fantastic. <laughs> if you look up the uh, metaphysical properties on it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So the starting bid on the sphere will be $300, which is a killer deal. That's not me making that much at all. It's fantastic. When I found it, I had to fight another guy for it that wanted it. And he was willing... I had to go... He wasn't going to back down because... You just don't find stuff of this size anywhere. Well, you do, but you're you're looking at hundreds and hundreds of dollars, literally. Black Guns and Gardens, hello. Thank you for dropping in. Good to see you. God, all the all the cool kids are are stopping by tonight. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. She knew that could have been machined. They're all machined. However, do you know the size of material that you have to buy to make one of this size? And if you're paying $50 a kilo, and black opals actually cost more than that a kilo. So you're looking at, say you paid a couple of grand for that block. All that comes off is a loss. And if it has a crack in it, you, you have nothing. You can make some cabochons out, out of it. But honestly, that's about it. So that's why when people wonder why spheres are so expensive, it is machined, but it still requires a man to and his skill to do it. And it's very time... I mean, anybody that knows anybody that does cabochons, and I, I know people that do cabochons in Arizona, it's not easy work. It's hard. And you got to get it perfect. Perfect. That's why, that's why they cost so much. That's why rings cost so much. And boys, thank you for dropping in. Oh, this thing is heavy. You're welcome, and boys. Okay, guys, I'm going to sit this big sucker down. If anybody, if it calls to you,
and you start thinking about it and you need it in your life or you know somebody wants it for Christmas because there are, they, these are not cracks. This is the rock itself. So if anybody needs that in their life, this is your opportunity. Whew, it's heavy. It is heavy. It, it, you can't even get it that cheap in China, guys. I'm not, And they sell rocks in China. You can't get this that cheap in China, I promise you. Pro they'll laugh at you if you say, I want a 12-pound sphere for 300 bucks. They'll be like, you, are you nuts? Uh-uh. They, they won't go for it. Because they have to do it by hand, too. It's just like carving skulls. Carving skulls have to be hand done. <laughs> so that's why when people wonder, why is it so expensive? Well, first of all, it's a precious, a precious mineral. And they have to do it all by hand. Unless you get rough, even if you're getting a polished product, it's still polishing. You have to do it by hand. Well, you can put it in a tumbler, but no telling what it's going to look like when it comes out. It'll look like a tumbled rock. If it's something that, you know, you don't want to tumble, you don't want to tumble cabochon. So you have to hand do all that. So I'm setting this big boy down. It's heavy. Oh, that thug was that. That's how heavy it is. Whew. Thank you, Amboys. That made my that that made my gun sore, man. Ooh. That made my arm. It's like, wow, I need my tea. Can you hand it to me? I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty already. Okay, let me grab some more stuff here. All right. We have the last of the Mohicans. This right here is a foo dog. It is a it's amethyst, but it also has some chevron amethyst in it. See the white right there? That would be the chevron amethyst right there. Foo dog. It's got a cute little face. And he's this big. And let me get my measure. Oh, thank you. Sorry, guys, that's thirsty. This is a two-inch food dog. Starting bid is $5 for the food dog. Everybody needs a protector. Gypsy okay, we got Gypsy JJ at five if there is no other interest. We are going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Gypsy JJ. Congratulations. It's fantastic. I'm going to show you guys this giant freaking elephant next. It is carved out of stone. And I didn't take the time to identify the stone. Um, but I do know that it has... I'm trying to unload everything for my next destination, you guys. Makes life easier. This is a carved elephant, you guys. He's carved out of rock. Let me see if I can figure out if he's soapstone. I don't think he's soapstone. Hold on. I can tap his behind and tell you if it is. Nope. That's not soapstone. Not soapstone. Um... I would say possibly marble, maybe. Let me hold. He's heavy. Let me hold him. All right. He's, his trunks are. Looks like uh, banded agates, what it looks like. His trunk is up, so you would put this by your door for protection. It keeps evil out of your house. I love, I really got into elephants lately, you guys. You guys know that. I really got into elephants lately. All right, let me give you a measurement on him. From the tusk, let's see. Let me put them here. It'd be easier to measure. From the tusk. I'm doing the heavy stuff first. From the tusk. Do his busk. 
you're looking at six and a half inches long. And then from his ear to his, let's do from his butt to his leg. He's about a little over four inches tall. I can weigh him for you if you want me to. He's not light. He's got a perfect mouth. You can tell that he's letting out the sound. Starting bid on him is $15 for this rock elephant that's been carved. It's fantastic. Fantastic. He's heavy too. You guys, I'm working hard. <laughs> Okay, we've got designs in by DC. We got disease DC at 15. There's no other interest. I'm gonna put this down and we're gonna cut it down for DC. Going once. Yeah, go up a dollar, ace play, and he's oh, if, one, yeah. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to DC. Hold on, guys, just a second. Let's see here. Let me check the next. Oh, Ace. I didn't even see him. It's okay. I am hot. My new video is coming out Tuesday. Kebby. Hi, Debbie and Kenny. I watched them the other day, guys. They're fantastic. You guys, if you don't know Debbie and Kenny, I've known them for a long time. They have a fantastic channel. They live in Arizona. They're retired. They travel the world. And they're just busy. They're the only people I know in Arizona that actually has a farm. For real, a farm. <laughs> they're cool people. You'll like them. Oh, okay. Okay. So, this skull, the Obsidian Snowflake. Am I saying that wrong? Snowflake obsidian, I guess you could say. See his snowflakes? We're going to do $7 on him, which is a killer deal. He is obsidian. Obsidian skull. Scully. There's his snowflakes right there. Let me get a measurement on him. I love obsidian. I'll say that till the end of time. He's an inch. So, an inch obsidian skull. <clears throat> we got Cherry's Reborn Nursery at seven. Shelly Rocks at seven. If you guys haven't filled out the job form at the top, I would appreciate that so that I know where to send your invoice and ship you to. You don't find skulls for seven bucks anymore, guys. And that I'm just being truthful. You don't find any of this stuff. I've, I left the other skulls over there. If anybody's interested in skulls that are bigger, on a bigger, bigger, um, I'll give you a great price. I have Moss Agate, and I have another obsidian that has a really cool druzy uh, pocket in his head. <laughs> I give you five hot dogs. I'm so burned out on hot dogs, junkyard. You'll have to come up with something better than that. Okay, we have yes. Shelly. Yes, what? Nightmares to the Snowflake Obsidian. Yes, Snowflake Obsidian. So if somebody wants to go up a dollar, Cherries or Shelly Rocks, um, and we'll go ahead and count it down. It is Snowflake Obsidian, yes. There's your Snowflake Trotler. In just a moment, they may be filling out the job. Oh, job form, yeah. Well, while they do that, I can go get some more skulls because these are great Christmas gifts. A lot of people collect skulls. I, being one of them, because they're my guardians, guys. They protect me. I say that, and I mean it, too. Snowflake Obsidian works to help balance and purify the ground one's mind, body, and aurora. This stone activates our root and third eye chakras, enhancing one's psychic abilities, especially that of past life recall. When meditating with this stone, one will have enhanced vision of previous lives. Wouldn't that be fantastic, guys? I always wondered about, wondered about past life regression and 
I've never been brave enough there to, to do it, to have somebody do it. Um, but it is interesting, isn't it? Okay, they were filling out the job form. <clears throat> I'm going to, while, while somebody decides, I will, I really have been interested in that. Okay, so if you want to bid, you just have to fill out the job form. That's all you have, that's all I ask of you. I got a secret, my birthday on December 4th. 46 years young. Oh, Andrew, you're so you're still young. <laughs> I'm 49 and I don't feel young sometimes. All right, let me grab some more of these skulls over here in case somebody if it calls to them then hey. This is your opportunity to get one for a price cuz I cannot find them for cheap anymore. It's just impossible. You wonder what I'm doing? I'm rolling away. Still rolling. And rolling. Oh, I have these Christmas calendars too. These rock calendars. I grabbed some of those too. I didn't open them all, you guys. Um, I had I had more than this, but this is the only one I see. Oh, I found them. The Advent calendars. I found them. I really do have more rocks than what I realized. Okay, let me grab the skulls. Uh, let me grab skulls. And I'm gonna do the giveaway, you guys. I gotta find my Herkimer diamond box. DC, Did anybody see where I put it? DC said open the one and sell the rocks each day. Open the one, so I don't want to do that. That's too much trouble. But that, I thought of that. That's a good idea, though. Let me set these down. I only brought a couple of skulls over here. Um, that's true, DC. Happy birthday, Andrew. Shelly Rock says seven. Anyone for eight? Thank you, D uh, Gypsy. So yeah, that that is a good deal. If if no, if nobody goes up, then I will count it down for. Um. Did I get a job form on both of them, or uh, just the first so far? Just Shelly, Shelly Rocks so far. Okay, Shelly Rocks. Let's count it down for Shelly Rocks. No response on the other. So, going once, going twice, last call, and sold for seven to Shelly Rocks. Congratulations, Shelly. You rock. All right, I'm clearing these down for half price because I, I want to move them. I want somebody to use them. And they are gemstone calendars. These are advent calendars, 24-day calendars. And here are the different rocks and stuff that you get in your box. This one is in German. This one is in German. So it is a ad gemstone advent calendar. And you open it up, which I don't want to open it. I already opened one up yesterday and started taking out rocks. <laughs> hey, Dakota, my son got a really cool rock out of it today, you guys. It was really cool, too. Anyway, I'm going to do, let's do $10 starting bid on this advent calendar. I have three calendars. That's all I have. And that is Clarence. You cannot get them for that anywhere. God's honest truth. And I'm going to take a loss on them and I'm okay with that. I just don't want to be opening advent calendars. I have one for myself, one for my son, and that's enough for me. I've never done them before. I've always wanted to do them. And so this is kind of cool. I didn't want a candy advent calendar, you guys. I try to trying to do a good thing, and so I haven't been doing candy or anything like that. All right, we got Shelly Rocks at twelve. So if there is no other interest, we are going to go ahead and the gift that keeps on giving. Exactly. All right, let's count it down for Shelly. Going once, going twice, last call. And sold to Shelly. Congratulations, Shelly. Those are fantastic. My son got a killer rock out of there today. I was like, that's cool. He's like, he showed me what he got out of there. And I was like, wow. He's really excited about it. Here is the last one right here. It's another one. This one's also 24 surprises inside Advent calendar. Celebrate the season with a natural tone. 
And then you have a mystery rock in here. You also get a necklace. So if you were going to uh, give a gift to someone that loves rocks, this is also, an, you have doors. So it is also an advent calendar. So starting bid on it's the same. I think, I think, I don't know. I think I'm doing 10 bucks. I'm taking the loss because I want somebody to enjoy them. Um, it's not a big deal. It's ended the year anyway. I'll just write it off. We got Cherries Reborn Nursery at 10. I hope I didn't miss anybody that came in. If I did, I apologize, you guys. You guys get to know each other. A lot of these people in here are also content, regular people and content creators as well. All right, we got Cherry at 10. Let's count it down. Going once, going twice. Last call. Oh, hold on, my helpers Sorry, tied up. <laughs> I always go too fast. I give you. A, don't say that junkyard. That sounds expensive. We already dealt with that last week. Okay, going once, going twice. Last call, and sold to cherries. Congratulations, that was fantastic. And you, you know, if you wanted to save it, if you wanted to save it for next year, you could because you know why doesn't have a date on it. There's no expiration date on rocks, you guys. Just saying. Okay, up next we have, let's see what this is. Oh, we got another little elephant. Well, do we want to do the elephant or we want to do a skull? Let's do witch's wart. It is, they call it witch's wart. It's got boy, boy troidles on it. And Junkyard Gamer, I know what you're going to say. Stop yourself. I know what he's going to say, guys. He's a funny guy. So, it has boy triddles. It's calcine is what it is. But it's known in the metaphysical world, the rock world, as witch's wart. And you can tell why it's called witch's wart, right? So, starting bid on this, five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. You'll never find it for five bucks at this size. Uh, let me give you a, a length on this. Three inches by about two, about two inches across. So that's witch's wart, also calcine, but everybody calls it witch's wart. It's actually highly sought after, believe it or not, it is highly sought after. What? It, uh, explain the gypsy between that and the hagstone. Hagstone comes from the, uh, the ocean, the river. Um, and has holes in it. I actually, I might have one piece, but I got to find it. Um, I actually sell those really well too. Hagstone is usually black. I did have a white piece and it has holes, natural holes in it where it's been fossilized. This is Chalcedony and it has boy troidals instead of holes and it's not found in the ocean. Does that make sense? Nightmare, if you want to grab an explanation for me, I know in my mind, but I don't know how to explain it but a hagstone looks like a cow patty I, I for lack of better words looks like a cow patty and they'll have holes through it because uh back in the day back in the forever ago farmers used to hang it out by their barn to keep evil and harm from their animals from their livestock me i hung it by my bed to keep evil from me and it really, I believe it works. I love Hagstone. I know it doesn't sound very um, sophisticated, but I love it. I do. I, I love it. If I can find it, I grab it because I love it. Thank you, big movie fan. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate you. Now, hagstones are different, but these are fantastic. And so are hagstones. So, I actually like them both. I like everything, I think. Because everything brings something to the table, you know. A bubbly specimen composed of a form of calcine from Morocco, sometimes known as witch's wort. This unique piece is largely composed of micro quartz crystal and takes on quite a unique form. Boy, ain't that the truth. Ain't that the truth. Everybody tell, well, Nightmare will tell you. I sent her one. She said it scares her. 
I can be scared of that. All right, so nobody wants that. Okay, thank you. I heard one of my friends say she wanted one, and she does clear dark energies. Interesting. Yeah, hag stones are cool. So is witches. They're both really, they both have, bring something to the table, really. All right, so let me go to the next. We have a vintage necklace, guys, of rocks. Uh, you have quartz, you have the obsidian, and you have adventuring on this necklace. It has, oh, we have a name. Hold on, let me have my better half look at the name. Does that say gold? In mama's world. Hey, mamas, how you doing? She's in uh, Kenya, you guys. No, Jamaica, Jamaica. Africa, Jamaica. She's in Africa. Anyway, she's fantastic, guys. She's a great person, great supporter. Good morning, good to see you there. It's morning time. So it's nighttime for us, but morning time for them. What's it say? Japan. Japan. Oh, that's why I had it in the special. Okay, pass. I'm giving up my Japan necklace, you guys. It's fantastic. It is vintage. Here we go. There's the clasp right there. We all know that Jap Japanese necklaces are highly sought after. Highly, highly sought after. And this is cool to the bone, you guys. All right. Let me tell you what the drop is on this. Let me, let me run it by the camera so you can see it good. Here's where it says Japan. On the back right there. Let me get a measurement. All right. We've got a 13 inch drop. On the Japanese rock necklace. Oh, it's not going to stay on there. I really need to get a bigger thing, don't I, guys? Okay, yes, I do. I know. All right, so starting bid on this is $10 to make you holler. Here is the back. Looks just like the front. It's a beautiful necklace, you guys. This was actually in my box, but, you know, like I said, I'm going to be moving again. It's when my daughter turns 18. I've had enough of this state. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Sooner the better. Caroline at 10. All right, we got Carol Ann at 10. It's fantastic. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. Last call. Let me fix my ball and sold to Carol Ann. That's very pretty, Carol Ann. <laughs> I always love that name, Caroline, you guys. All right, you want to talk about big hitters and fancy fashion, you guys. This necklace right here from this place, I haven't seen a necklace that goes for less than 100 bucks. I could not find this specific necklace. You guys know I'm not going to sell it for what other people sell it for anyway. The name on it is Lenore, Lenora Dame, made in the USA. Lenora Dame. She's pretty classy from what I was seeing. Lenora Dame. It's got a big fat pearl on there, too. It's got a lobster claw. It's got the black cord. And it's got a bunch of pearls on it. Let me give you the drop on this necklace so you know how long it is. Yeah, she's fancy. I looked her up and said, holy mo... Wow. So, yeah, she's high society. Eight and a half inch drop. And, like I said, there is her tag. To show you she is what she is. Laura Dame. Lenora Dame. Made in the USA. Starting bid on this necklace as well is $10. And you can sell it for about, oh, what, 10 times that? <laughs> so, that's fantastic, you guys. Check that. Lost my tea again. There it is. I got owls too, guys. I got owls. We're going to cleanse the owls out. All right, we got Miss Molly at 10. There's no other interest. We're going to count it down. 
going once. In my chat, you snooze, you lose. I, I move pretty fast. I get, it's just who I am. <laughs> going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Miss Molly. Congratulations, Molly. I can guarantee you, I was looking at the prices and was like, that's high roller, man. <laughs> I was like, wow, that is crazy. Oh, I found the Herkimers. I found them. Let me move my cutting rocks out of the way. I found them. I found them. Who needs some Caribbean calcite? I'm in my rock box. That is a one hell of a hunker on that pyrite, too. Got pyrite. I've got Herkimer, of course. I've got the uh, wolf. What is it called? A wolf and I? I got wolf and I, the state rock of Arizona. Arizona. Nobody ever wants to buy it, and I don't know why. It's actually really hard to get. It's really expensive, too. <laughs> Let me roll up my sleeves. I'm hot. I might have to take change shirts in a minute, you guys. All right. I found more of the Caribbean calcite. This is a palm stone with a druzy bug right there. This is what Caribbean calcite looks like. That's how it is. It's a, a, a softer. It is a softer material. It is this big. Let me give you a measurement on it. You got a three inch palm stone, three inches long by two inches. Starting bid, here you go, seven dollars, and that's a real pretty one. Seven dollars is gonna make you holler. I'll pull more rocks as well out of the storage, you guys. So next week I'll have more rock jewelry, more. Uh, rocks, crystals, and this and that. I got some vintage stuff. I have a vintage uh, queen doll, as a matter of fact, that is uh, the main queen, not Queen Elizabeth. Is it Queen Elizabeth they told me that was? You think that's what they said? Yeah, Queen Elizabeth is by some fancy doll maker. She's super old, and I need her out of my hair. John, John, good to see you. Thank you for dropping in. I was going to go to your channel the other day. I got tied up. I've been so busy. Becca, hello. How are you? All right, we got DC at seven. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to DC. Congratulations, DC. Caribbean calcite is a one-time find, and our guess is, is that it will be mined to extinction within a few years. So, and you know what? When you you are the beholder, and somebody wants it bad enough, it was a good investment. And it's, it was a good investment for me, too, to be honest with you. I'm down to the, the last ones. That's a jelly one, too. That, that one is jelly, DC. You're going to love it. Okay, let's see what else we got in here in the rock box. This one hasn't never been cleaned. It is a Daruzi, and this right here is iron. You can use iron, I think it's called iron out, uh, to soak it and make it sparkle even more. But it's got some really pretty flowers in there. I never cleaned it. It is a, uh, what's that called? Can't think. Geo. Geo. Let me get a... It just needs to be put in iron out. It's got some really cool little points in there too, as you can see. So I'm moving stuff out, you guys, starting bit on this. And it's this big. It's not tiny. Let's do $4 on it. Starting bid, $4. You'll never find it for $4 anywhere. You can't even break it for $4. It is, let me tell you how big it is. Almost three inches. By... Two and a half, I say two and a half by two and a half, give or take. Probably a little bigger, not smaller, but bigger. So if anybody, if that calls to you, if you need it in your life, there you go. It's very pretty. I've been taking, oh my gosh, John John, that's why I haven't seen you. I love you, John John. 
Two more to go. Haven't been feeling like yuck. I'm so sorry. Prayers to you, John John. You'll get through this. Everybody, you send good prayers and good vibes and energy to John John. We love John John. John John's been good to me, you guys. I'll never, I'll never forget John John. If you haven't checked out John John's channel, he's also working towards his 1K. He is a fantastic cook from Louisiana. And he's a beautiful man. He's a beautiful husband and father. So you guys, he's got a beautiful dog. If you love Labrador Retrievers, he's got a beautiful dog too. He's very kind. You guys go check out your ch his channel. You'll love him. He's a darn good cook too, you guys. All right. So if no interest, in oh, we got Molly at four. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Molly. Yeah, I wondered why I hadn't seen you. I thought about you the other day, John John, and I should have emailed you. But uh, life intervenes. You know how that goes. Um, and so I was. I went over to your channel and I noticed that there wasn't. I thought you just got the YouTube burnout because we all get it. You know, I mean, when you're a creator, I mean, it's hard work. And it doesn't matter if you're just doing a live stream. It's hard work. But I wondered about you. So thank you for coming. Oh my gosh, I missed you. John John, did you see what he made his daughter? He made her, she wanted ribs for her birthday. And he didn't just make her like one rack of ribs. It was a stack of ribs. He can make anything, you guys. He is in Louisiana and he knows how to cook. I'm not kidding. John John, okay, so I got to say good things about John John here. John John sent me my first stack of community coffee, guys. It was the first time I'd ever had it. And I'll never forget it because, honestly, I was out of coffee. And then I get this package, and I'm like, I didn't order no coffee. What the world? And it was from John John. He sent me a beautiful cup and, like, five different deals of coffee. And I was so excited. So every live stream... I would sit there and drink that coffee. John, John, if you feel up to it, I started promoting channels again. I will also put you up there so that you can meet new people. You don't have to attend. I will shout you out. So, John, John, hang in there. We love you. You are a fantastic community member and a fantastic person. We love you. I know it's hard. It sucks. I know. But I'm just glad to see you. Angel sent you. I'm telling you, Angel sent you. I've been going through things too, but I'm I'm almost out of the water with it. So, you know, blessings. Bonnie's in the house. Hello, Bonnie. Me too, Shelly. Louisiana is on my bucket list as well. So maybe if I get to Florida, I'll get there, right? All right. So let me grab some more rocks. Let's let's we need to do a giveaway. We need to do a giveaway. Giveaway. Oh, that's a big old piece of that. All right, so I have a, um, this is a, what is that, a sand dollar? Is that, that's a sand dollar, right? It's a fossil sand dollar, and it's a small one. Um, I wanted two for it back in the day. We're going to take that off. <laughs> if anybody needs a fossilized sand dollar, starting bid's a dollar. It's this big. So it is a sand dollar. Sand dollar fossil. Let me grab something out of here. Oh, that's a fantastic Herkimer. Uh, let me find some Herkimers. We've got Herkimer lovers here and there. You know, another person I've missed lately is Francine's Fun Finds. Oh, that one's got some killer rainbows in it. Uh, I've missed Francine's fun finds. I haven't seen her either. So I need to email her and say, how are you doing? <laughs> okay, we got Molly at one, Shelly at one, and Becca at one. So I I'm just thankful people check on me. You know, it makes it makes me feel good. 
And when I get close to somebody and I get that connection, it's like, that's what I do. I, you know, I love you and I want you to know you're loved. As a symbol of personal growth and transfer. Okay. For many, sand dollars represent the beauty and power of the ocean, reminding us of our connection to the natural world and the wonders it holds. Others see sand dollars as a symbol of personal growth and transformation, representing the potential for spiritual enlightenment and renewal. That is, I love Francine, you guys. I went to see her at one of some live. I don't even know where the hell I was. I didn't know anybody <laughs> except Gypsy J J popped up and said, I said, I don't know anybody here. And I didn't. And, um, <laughs> Gypsy J J hopped out of the bushes and said, you know me, <laughs> but I, I don't go to other cells. Um, I, I don't want anybody feeling, I don't know. I feel weird. I don't want them thinking I'm chasing nobody cause I'm not, but, uh, <laughs> so I don't, but I did. I wanted to know that I loved her and I support her. And so I went, and that was the first time I've ever did that, and the last time. But it felt weird, guys. It felt weird. Because when people say, hey, you have a channel and you sell, when's your next live stream? I don't like, I don't want to, I don't mind if people do that in my chat, but some people get really pissed. So, yeah, I just stay away. <laughs> All right, let's count this down for Molly. Going once, going twice, last call. And sold to Molly. Miss Molly, good golly. All right, let me find something else. Who needs a Herkimer diamond? Get your Herkimer diamonds from the Ace of Diamonds. I'm showing you this one. It's got killer rainbows, guys. This came from New York, the Ace of Diamonds. Right straight out from out of a rock. And this one has inclusions and full of beautiful, beautiful. It has not been clean. It came out of the mine. I bought it from the owner. Just like this, you guys. Came out of the mine. Let's see if I can hit those rainbows. Okay, okay. so if you look here, you'll start to see the rainbows are killer in this sucker. We got to find them. The rainbows are fantastic in this. This is a Herkimer diamond, you guys. I've seen some super cloudy Herkimer diamonds that go for, they're, I mean, we're talking this big. There's some for 20 bucks, literally. But this one's perfect because you could actually put it on your third eye. You know, her, I, I'm always going to say it, guys. Yes, I'm starting to run out of Herkimers. But I've spread these suckers around the world. Anybody that needed healing, anybody that was on a mission, anybody that was working on their spiritual growth, anybody that's working on enlightenment, I have spread these bad boys throughout the world, and I don't regret it a bit. People are like, God, I can't believe you're selling them for that. Yeah, you know what? They were put here for all of us, not just one or two people. They were put here for all of us. So this one's a pretty good size honker. Let me get it up close. You can see in there. It actually, it's not completely. It's got killer rainbows. It's got a beautiful window right here. And when I say window, it's like a triangle. And in that window is some killer rainbows. Oh, finally it focused. That's gorgeous, you guys. You know how I feel about Herkimer's. I don't even have to tell you how I feel about Herkimer diamonds. And you know what they're worth. Anybody that knows, have, have went to eBay, you know what they're worth. All right, this is a two-incher. I just found the prettiest rainbow right there. Let me see if I can get it to... It's full of rainbows, though. Not just that one. That one is just huge. It's right through here. It's big. All right, I'm going to do 10 bucks on the Herkimer diamond, which is a killer, killer deal. Y'all saw my first Herkimer diamond. It was ugly. Gig's going to be sending you something soon, waiting for it to be delivered to me first. Love. Oh, I miss it. Uh, first love. You can't wait for you to get it. Oh, Gig's, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Mary Dugan's in the house. Hello, Mary. Okay, we got Shelly Rocks at 10 and Becca at 10. I was totally missing the camera. You guys, you think my arms would lose weight from holding them up so much? Uh, the Herkimer diamonds are over 500 million years old and are only to be found 
by a Mohawk River in Herkimer County, upstate New York. Ace of Diamonds, guys. That man was so, he was the owner. He's deceased now. He passed away. And the mine is up in, in you know, it's being battled on whether it be sold or the wife retain it. And so you can go Google that and read about the whole story. So it's like I said, if it was to get sold to, say, the government, they use these crystals, quartz crystals, all kinds of crystals in electronics. I don't think you'd be able to get them anymore. I know there are some rocks in Colorado that I actually have. I was going to cut them, but then they uh, closed the feds, closed the uh, mine. So you can't get them anymore. It was in a park. And so, and I can't remember which one it was, but there's so many that rocks that are really just running out. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I mean, you'll be able to find them, but it's just like anything. The, the less there is out there, the more expensive it's going to be. So rocks are an investment. They really are an investment. Okay, so we have Becca at 15. If nobody else is interested, we will... Yes, Bonnie, the mother, from what I understand, now, who I bought mine from was the husband that passed away. Um, from what I understand, the children want to close it. The mother wants to keep it open. So it's still open at this time because it's still being battled in court. So we'll just have to keep our eye open and see. I hope that it remains open because I haven't made it there yet. I dealt with the guy on the phone, so I would rather, you know, I would rather see it remain open. I mean, because it, it's, I haven't made it. I have to go there, which you can dig in New York as well. You can dig them, but they're not nearly, in my opinion, they're not nearly as clear as the ones from the Ace of Diamonds, because I've seen both. I have this. But I've seen both, and to me, these are the way to go. And then you have all those people that try to pass off Herkimers, but they're not. They're Perkimers. So it's not dolomite inside. It's oil deposits, and they come from Pakistan. And so I remember when I tried to get my first Herkimer, it was this big. And I, <laughs> literally, it was that big. And I paid like $30 for it, I think. And I got it, and I was like, this is not a Herkimer. And then I asked my friend that, that also is a rock collector. And she said, that's a Perkimer. I said, what the hell's a Perkimer? And she's like, it comes from Pakistan. Put a black light on it and it'll glow because it's uh, oil inside. It's oil petroleum. Sure enough, I had a Perkimer. So it was my mission to get a hold of Herkimers. Okay, so we have Gypsy JJ at 18. So yeah, it was my mission. I now I didn't haven't got the big one that I want. If I had it my way, but there's no way. First of all, I would only be able to afford it if I got a jackhammer and did it. My, you have to use a jackhammer because these are rocks, guys. So yeah, I don't see myself doing that. My body's too broken to do that. But if, if I was to buy one, and I'm saying one about like this, I'm looking at a grand, literally a grand, if not more, depending on how clear it is. So, it's crazy. It is. But, guys, man, it, it, with my lupus, they were there. My Herkimers were there with me the whole journey. And I love it. And I, I'm always going to say that. I love them. Hell, oh, Ron did Abalone Ring Sink. No, Cha Cha, I did not sell it. Do you want it? Where is it? Uh, oh, this beautiful one that had the killer flash on it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that killer? It came out of my jury box. <laughs> it is gorgeous. If you want that cha-cha, I'll put it in your box. That's a killer abalone, too. Okay, let me see. I lost track. Hi, Wella. Good to see you. All right, we got Becca at 20. I want it. Okay, gotcha. Will you put that in cha-cha's box for me? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, we got Becca at 20. If everybody's done, we'll go ahead and count it down and we'll do a giveaway. All right, going once, going twice, last call, and sold to Becca. Congratulations, Becca. Herkimer's are. I don't even have a, a word for it other than 
love. I love them. Let me find something fantastic to give you guys. Oh, I have this abalone bracelet, too, that's fantastic. I don't know what this is material it's made out of. I'm looking for markings on it right now. Oh, it's a jacked one. I hate it when that happens. All right. I've also got stone jewelry. Um, if you'll turn on my tester over there, this one's got purple. It looks like garnet and... Um, looks like garnet and... What is the green? Peridot? I'm going to have him test that. I know, I'm still selling it cheap, but I'm going to have him test it so you know what it is. So, let me find... I'm still finding something to give away. I was interested in staring at this ring because it's very pretty. Okay, let's find something to give away. I got to give away something. I can't give away a ring because I don't know what size. You guys are rock stars. How much was the abalone? I don't remember. It's 20. This is more of a pinky ring. It's a size 5. It's got stars on it. I hate to give away something that somebody can't wear, you know. Um, I should go on my desk because on my desk I've got, oh, I've got rocks here too. Let me look. But I need my glasses. I have cabochons too. I forgot about you guys. Fantastic ones. I've had them over here for a while now and I, hold on, let me put on my spectacles. If you guys are beaters, I, I also do have some uh, real rock jewelry for that, too. Oh, that's fantastic. We got that. Uh, here's some rocks. Oh, I'm digging for fantastic. And I hate to give away a skull because I don't know. That's a weird rock. That's a killer cube. Let me see. Let me see. I'll find some. I always give to what calls to me. That is a fantastic. Did you get the tester? It's right there next to the couch. If you'll flip it on for me. Wait, what? The tester right there. If you'll turn that on. I'm trying to find something that all of them. I don't. Do I have any males in here? Or is it all females? Hello, Willa. I'm trying to decide. I guess I'll give away a her one. All right, I, that did it. I'm gonna give away. Well, oh, that's pretty. That's quartz. I find a cool Herkimer. That's too cool of a Herkimer. Oh, uh, let's see. Herkimer, Herkimer, Herkimer. That one looks like ice. <clears throat> All right, you guys. My love for you. Well, I just love you. But I'm giving away a Herkimer. Um. It's got pointy ends, not responsible for you playing with it, but it, I mean, it ain't gonna hurt you, unless you're really trying to, I guess. It's got a beautiful window, guys. It is super duper clear. I can see through it. Why are you huffing? There's a, there's a giveaway thing here in the chat box for Streamlabs. Do you want me to give it a try, or do you want to do the bigger numbers? You can give it a try if it'll work. I've never done it, don't know how it works, but there's you don't know how it works. one minute timer, it says click start. I don't know what they're supposed to do. I don't know what they're supposed to do either. We can try it and see. I've never used the Streamlabs uh, giveaway tool. He said Streamlabs has one, but he's never used it. Have any of y'all used that? It might just be easier if I just pick a number. But I really suck at picking numbers, you guys. All right, so you guys know throughout the night I do giveaways because I love you and I want you to know that I appreciate you. So I try to give away that depending on who's in the house, if it's guys or if there's guys, I try to make sure it's something that guys or gals will like. So we're going to do a giveaway. I Hi, UK. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you for dropping in. I was watching you today. Um, so I'm going to give away a Herkimer and does that show you how to use it? If not, I can just pick a number. So I will ship overseas. If you pay the shipping, I will ship for free in the United States because I can afford the United States. I can't afford 
UK and all the other places, unless you already have a box. If you already have a box, it's not a big deal. So it is up to you. You can do random generator on your phone. Do you want to do that? Let's do random generator. But they still got to pick a number. <laughs> He's over there picking numbers over there playing with it. That is really clear. The, this ain't doing it justice. You'll see. This one was on a rock. It doesn't have any dolomite on it. But it is super freaking awesome. That okay, would so be worth it. Do, uh, exclamation point raffle, it says. Okay, it says, do you push a button first or they do exclamation? I push it. They have 59 seconds. Exclamation point raffle. Is exclamation right. point raffle. Let me put it in the text. It's in the chat. Okay, it's in the chat. Right under UK Medic sign night mode. Exclamation point raffle. You can enter yourself. Oh, I'll enter myself if I do it? Nightmare, put an exclamation point raffle. Everybody put it in that wants to win this Herkimer. Herkimer. All you guys get in your exclamation point raffle. Yeah, that's easy. That's cool. It gives you guys tickets. Yeah, I thought this was 59 seconds. It's 59 minutes, but I can stop it when I close the entries and pick a winner. That's cool, you guys. Who would have thunk it? That's neat. Hello, that's fantastic. Hello, Trey Land. We got 15 out of 29 entries. We got 15. Does anybody else want to be in? Good to see you, Trey. Thank you for dropping in. Starshine Moonbeam's in the house. How are you, how you doing, Starshine? I'm about to make a cup of coffee. This tea is not waking me up. It is not giving me energy. It's got a beautiful Cha -cha, it's window. Telling you that you're entered into the giveaway. You're entered in, Cha-Cha. You're entered in. <laughs> this fancy stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and stop it. I think everybody's in. Entries are closed, 16. All right, entries is closed. Here we go. Good luck, whoever needs it the most. I pray that it comes to you. So you'll have, this would be perfect to wire wrap if you guys wire wrap. That is we gorgeous. Push button we'll see what let's like push that. a button. Good, good luck, all you guys. Good luck. And this ain't the only giveaway, guys. You know me. Nightmare 44 has won a Herkimer, it says. Nightmare 44 has won a Herkimer. I'm going to have to help pay her shipping because I keep giving her crap, you guys. There you go, Herkimer. Herkimer lady, congratulations. That will look fantastic on your altar. Congratulations, and Nightmare. So, yeah, she's going to be blinging. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to take a small break. I will come back. I have more rocks. I got more... Hold on, let me, should I give y'all something to think about? This vintage necklace, look at this. Oh my God, you guys. I've never seen one like this, but it's vintage, it's beautiful. It's got a barrel clasp. Look at this necklace. So the beads are all glass, right? Except for the metal ones separating it. Look. They're AB, of course. Is that fantastic or what? And as the light hits it, you see the AB. That is freaking gorgeous, you guys. No joke. Let me measure. Where's my measuring tape? A little, oh, it's on my leg. My hair, the ceiling fan is on. It keeps blowing my hair everywhere. All over my face. All right, it's got a 12 inch drop. It's beautiful, Molly. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So you guys, the starting bid on that will be $15 because it's freaking gorgeous. I've never seen it with the barrel looking beads on there. It's all glass, except for the metal ones. And the AB, the... Oh, gosh, it's beautiful. 
I can't say anything. I don't know. It speaks for itself. That's all I can say. It's got a barrel clasp on there. It is but butimous, butimous. Is it raining? Oh, I want. Oh, it's raining rocks. I thought it was raining. I need rain here. I thought it was going to rain earlier and then it didn't rain. I just like the sound of the rain, though. It's very relaxing to me. All right, we got Molly at 15. If there is no other interest, we are going to send it to Molly. Going once, going twice, last call, and sold to Molly. Molly, that is so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. All right, guys, I'm going to grab some coffee. So let's take a break. And I need coffee. I'm thirsty. I got a Celtic Cross as well. It is a rock Celtic Cross. And it is American Picture Jasper. It's 64 by 72 millimeter Gothic Gemstone Pendant. Here's the back. Starting bid is $5 to make you holler. It came out of the jewelry maker stuff. It has the tag still in it that tells you what it is. American Picture Jasper. 64 by 72 millimeters gothic gemstone pendant. That is one heck of a pendant. So when I say honker, that's pretty good size. There's what picture Jasper looks like. It's got the nice hole in the top. Are you going to bed, sweetie? Are you going to bed, Dakota? Are you going to bed? Oh, okay. I was just checking. All right. We got Shelly at five and Shauna at six. If Shelly wants to go out, then we'll go ahead and count it down and I'll go get some coffee. All right. Let's go ahead and count it down. Going once, going twice, last call, and sold to Shauna. Congratulations, Shauna. Okay, guys, I'll be right back with more great stuff. I'm going to get some coffee, coffee with cream. Yes, I'm back to cream again. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. We'll also do another giveaway here shortly. So give me just a moment. Because coffee makes the world go round. So let me see how I am supposed to flip this. Look at your pinky. What's wrong with my pinky? Oh, I got a sticker. <laughs> He's trying to sell me. Never. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, guys. Is my camera closed? Yes. Okay, here I go. Let me find mute. I don't know how to work this. Oh.
Oh no, Brenda, let me find my way back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had to get more rocks off my desk, guys. You know how that goes. Okay, me, hello, God's Child TV. Thank you so much for coming. So, guys, I know he probably already left. Um, John John, I am going to send John John a Herkimer Diamond. That's what my channel's been about. You guys know that I survived lupus uh, eating half my Widowmaker. And I know what it's like to live with some and deal with a uh, mess with your health. And I, I'm going to mail him a Herkimer. I, I think it'll it'll help him on his journey. And it'll let him know that we all love him. So it'll be from all of us. So that's what we do here. Uh, we love one another. And we care about those. And I feel like uh, like-minded and people. God brought us together for a reason. And uh, he's a beautiful man. He really is. So if you don't know him, let's try to get his channel to 1K. He is a fantastic person. He really, really is. There you are. I love you, John. I really do. Um, I'm sending you a Herkimer. <laughs> it helped me on, on my way, and I know it'll help you. And even if it don't help you, you know what? It, it lets you know we all care about you. And you guys help him get him to get him to his 1K. So he's in here. Check out his channel. He's fantastic. Thank you so much for that coffee. I needed that, you guys. It's hard to wish the thing so I can put it in here. I gotta get it. I'm, I gotta pick out the one that's specifically for him. Actually, I have one right here that John, John, you're a diamond. I'm sending you this. May God be with you in our prayers and energy and healing. We will send all of that to you. And here is a, a token of our love and appreciation for you. For being in our life. I'm sending that to you. It's beautiful. Your wife's going to love it. It's got this fantastic window right here. Oh, it's beautiful. So, I'm sending that goes to you. All right. I've got this owl, you guys. It's vintage. I'm going to show y'all because I collect owls, y'all know. And when I see owls, what do I do? I buy the owls. However, I think it goes in the kitchen. I don't know what it does. It has a hole in its head where you put stuff in there. And it's vintage, and it's old. No crazing, though. Here's the bottom. It is the cutest owl ever, though, you guys. I love my owls. Y'all know that. We have more rocks, too, so you guys hang on. Up in the air, Aaron. How are you doing? Good to see you, my friend. You guys, this is my friend, Aaron. He's fantastic. What up, Sheena? Just hanging out with good people, having good times over here. Having good times. That's about it. Trying to behave myself. It's six inches long by three and a half inches. Starting bid on this is $4. And I think you put utensils in there. But you can put anything you wanted in there, I guess. Hoo hoo. <laughs> I'll have to check that out, UK. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, Starshine. Blessings to you, Starshine. Feel better, sweetie. It's, I, you know, I feel better than I usually do. <laughs> so, I I take that as a blessing. All right, we have Shelly F4. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Shelly. Congratulations, Shelly. It's fantastic. All right, let me grab this coffee right here while it's hot. Because it gets cold fast. Mm. That was hotter than I expected. I tried to warn you. <laughs> he said I tried to warn you. Alright, we have a turquoise necklace, you guys. It is chips. Real rocks. Very pretty. Let me give you the drop on it. Well, it might help if I have the right end of the... Tape measure. 
16 inch at the drop. There you go. Starting bid on this is $4 to make you holler. Okay, we got Carol at five. Thank you, Shelly. You'll love him. He's a beautiful person. He's worked really hard on his channel. Really hard. It's really hard to get those numbers. I went back to promoting channels throughout the week, too, to help people out. My channel's growing. I don't know how it is, but I guess I'm, I'm blessed. And uh, I want to I help other people, too. All of you guys, like I said, if you have a live stream coming, you're more than welcome or a premiere. You're more than welcome to say, hey, I have a premiere on this day and that way we can join you and help support you. That's what we do over here. We love one another. Spiritually, the turquoise stone heals and purifies both energy that centers the physical body. It introduces wisdom or induces wisdom and knowledge and enhances trust. Kindness and recognition of true beauty. I believe that. <laughs> Shelly, well, keep coming. You'll grow over here for sure. You'll grow. Even at my mukbangs with my keto, that we, I do those for supporting people and helping whatever your support anybody needs. Everybody's welcome, whether they're going through something with their health or, you know, I like carbs. And so I use that to help me stay on track. And then you're also able, I know I go around the world and, and uh, network, so I know people from everywhere. And so you're welcome to always come and meet great. I have no turds. We block turds, so it's all good people. All right, we got Cha-Cha at 12. John John said, thank you all for the support. As soon as my voice comes back, I'll be making my cooking videos again. I have so many to do. We're looking forward to that, John John. Did you get his rock? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, we got Shelly 13, Cha-Cha at 14. Well, we'll be waiting for you, John John. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what he does next. Okay, we got Shelly at 15. We got Cha Cha at 16. We got Gypsy JJ at 17. Yeah, John John can cook, Carol. Oh my gosh. He is one heck of a cook. His wife is the luckiest lady in the world. Ron, close your ears. <laughs> Hey, I'm willing to take lessons. <laughs> He's willing to take lessons from John John. Okay, we got Gypsy JJ at 17. If everybody's out, we'll go ahead and count it down. Going once. Oh, Gypsy JJ at 17. Mm -hmm. Okay, going twice. Last call. Cha -cha at 18. Oh, Cha Cha popped in at 18. This is like the horse races. My late boyfriend was from Shreveport, Louisiana. That's cool. We all need to take a trip down to Louisiana. Uh, there's there's so many places I want to see, but that is one of the places. And the funny thing is, if I go to Florida, you know, I can go right instead of left, and left will take you to Florida. Right will take me to L Louisiana. So when you get down there by the Gulf, like I, I'm going to need the charger for this. I'm at 15%. Hi, Christine. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. Hope you're doing well. Let me plug in, guys, because I'm at 15% already. When you run the camera, boy, it drains fast. I'd be using my oh, desk. I thought you said you had one. Hold on. Hold on. He's got to get the other one. Um, at my desk, I fight with that camera. Let me pull my chair closer so I can be more comfortable. There, that's better. Okay, voila, we're, we're, ch we're charging, so we're good now. Oh, goodness. I'm in Oklahoma.
yeah, it takes a while, that's for sure. But you'll get there pretty quick. Over here, I've been growing like gangbusters, and I decided, you know, I need to start doing uh, my mukbangs during the day. Is basically community coming together, supporting each other in whatever way you need support. And then I'll do nighttime ones as well. Hey, Magic, how are you doing? Good to see you. He said, hi, Ron. He said, hello. Um, don't put the space between the exclamation point and fantastic, Christine. Yeah, just put exclamation point, fantastic, and then it'll come. Um, doing good, cool. All right, let's count it down. Oh, Gypsy JJ's at 25. Like this. And you could just drop her link for her. Could, but they were counting it down now because oh. Cha Cha is out. Okay. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Gypsy JJ. Yeah, Gypsy JJ. I got confused there for a minute. Okay. Thank you. Next up, we have this. Oh, uh, see, let me check this out. We have Tiger's Eye. What? What's so funny? UK still doing it. UK, I make a mean mango cheesecake. He's trying to hurt me, guys. He's putting a hurt on me. All right, he probably does too. All right, so it's on a stretchy. You got Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye. Everybody needs Tiger's Eye in their life. I was wearing mine yesterday. I love Tiger's Eye. Let me so you can see it better. Tiger's Eye. Starting bids $3 on the Tiger's Eye. If it calls to you and you need it. I used to make a great cheesecake, but I tried recently. It was horrible. Oh, no, Becca. <laughs> I got some cream cheese. I made a cheese ball today. I made a cream cheese, um, cheddar, jalapeno, habanero, keto friendly cheese ball, which I'll be eating after the show, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so we've got Shelly at five, Cha Cha at six. It's one of my favorites. It's beautiful. I make a holiday, ooh, cranberry. I bet that's good. <clears throat> I was a chef before I became a medic. I cook Chinese, Indian, Italian, well, about anything. UK, you need to do a cooking videos. Either that or we're getting on a plane soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm still waiting for UK to send me a ticket on the cruise. UK's fantastic, guys. He does a live stream. He has videos. He's working on his watch hours. He's almost there. I watched him today. Um, he is at 180... He only has like 180, I think it is, watch hours left that he needs to be monetized. So I watched UK Medic today. He's a great guy. He does a lot of shout out videos about me <laughs> and cracks me up every time. He makes me laugh. We got Holy, which is his uh, his mirror image. Don't forget about his pet crow. And I can't forget about Russell Crowe. He has Russell Crowe. And then he has another one, Hang Low, I think it is. He's a funny guy, so if you if you like sense of humor, he really should be a comedian. Speaking of comedians, comedians guys, I have those vintage uh, puppets that I am letting go of because I just did not have time to incorporate that in a channel like I wanted to. And I have Floppy, is it Floppy? Flappy. Slappy. Slappy. Slappy from Goosebumps. And he's vintage. I have... Uh, did he switch names? No. Wang Hong Wo. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to give me trouble. <laughs> okay, so every once in a while, I'll, I throw out a cuss word, but... You can go down for Shelly real quick. It cracks, me, it cracks me up. Okay, going once. Going twice. Last call and sold to Shelly. Congratulations, Shelly. Yeah, so... He's something else, you guys. He's naughty. He's naughty. Shelly, he's naughty, but he's a great supporter, and he's a great friend of mine. I've known him for some time. All right, guys, I wasn't going to let go of the Native American necklace, but it's fan it's too fantastic for me. Thank you, Starshine. Um, what did Starshine do? She gave you some information about a little card. Sheena, non-dairy cream or like Cremora has only one card participant. Looked it up for you if you like it. It also keeps coffee hotter than just... Thank you, Starshine. I'm screenshotting that so I can find it. Thank you. That's fantastic. 
I am always willing to try something new. Now, this one has these weird beads on them that look like corn, but I know it's not corn. Um, let me get my tapper, and we'll see what it is. It's some sort of a glass or rock. And then you got all these little sea beads. I, I, I'm guessing it's supposed to represent something, but I've never seen a Native American necklace. You guys know I love Native American everything. I collect kachinas, and I love wearing stuff like this. So, here we go. Here's what it looks like. It is beautiful. Now, I don't know what this is supposed to represent, but I know it represents something. Gonna, and it's beaded. I'm going to say this on your stream for everyone to hear. You are right. You're right about what? It looks amazing on the camera behind the fireplace. I love it. I like sitting here, but my back... Oh, it's probably time for my Advil. I had to have surgery on my L5S1. And sometimes it bothers me more than other times. It's between your feet. Oh, it's on my feet. Okay. Sometimes it bothers me. Being in the medical field, as long as I was, I wore my body out. That's what I did. UK Medic understands. I wore my body out. And that and the lupus didn't help. You've got a little bit bigger, about a 13-inch drop, a little bit bigger. Alrighty. And the backing on it is leather. Leather. And it's beautiful starting bid on it, $7 to make you holler. The pin, or the, I don't know what you call the this part, but I love these guys. I still have the Falcon one. I'll probably sell those next week. So you guys ring that notification bell if you're looking for fantastic gifts or you just enjoy wearing fancy stuff like I do. Because I'm going to give it to you at cheaper than thrift store prices. That's what it's about, guys. I try to get the best prices I can to keep it low. We got Brenda Costa at 7. My daughter-in-law smears by coconut oil in her coffee. I never tried it. I never... Well, I, I use the coconut oil that has... Um, it's, like, balanced, so it doesn't, like, raise cholesterol or anything. I can't remember. It's, like... I, it's MCT, and it has numbers. I'll have to look. But... It doesn't taste bad or anything. Coconut oil, I don't know. I think that would... This doesn't have a taste. Coconut oil, it probably tastes like coconut coffee. All right, let's count this down for Brenda. Oh, we got gigs in at eight. That is... I, I try anything once. I love Starshine that you gave me. It's another alternative. I love that. Okay, we got Brenda Costa at nine. That is very pretty. It's got a real pretty little stone right there in the center. I've never seen a pink one before. Or these look like corn, but they're not. They're either glass or rock. And it's a fantastic necklace. I've never seen one like that. Okay, we got gigs at 10. We got Brenda Costa at 11. I'm going to sit back in this. I'm going to scoot closer and lean back in the chair. Ron said, you got used to that desk, having your desk in front of you. And I, I must say, guys, he's right. I did. But, you know, if this gets too uncomfortable, I can move my phone to my desk. It's not a big deal. All right, gig is out. Count down for Brenda. All right, let's count it down for Brenda. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Brenda. You're welcome. I looked up this morning because I know you like cream. And you, I do. I like that's my dirty, that's my dirty habit is the cream. Otherwise, I do great. But if that's the worst thing I do, I think I'm pretty good. It just kind of slows the the weight loss and the healing. But that's okay. I got nothing but time. All right. Up next, let's see. That's fine. Fantastic. We've got this arrowhead. All it needs put on. Well, that's kind of messed up. Okay, so the little jump thing is messed up. So you'll have to bend it if you have pliers. It is agate. Hey, agate Mama Milo. arrowhead. Hello, Mama Milo. Welcome. Did you give her a spanner? Yes. Okay, good. 
Welcome in, Mama. Okay, this one right here is almost two inches, a little over an inch and a half on this arrowhead. Like I said, you'll have to get pliers and bend that. I'm not doing it for you. Let's <laughs> try bids a dollar because I ain't doing it for you. Here's the back side. You got little boys in your family. I like stuff like this too. It is a little pointy. So you could also put it on um, like if you do art like I do. I like to stick things on things. I always want to do a Native American shadow box. I collect kachinas. And so I'm going to let go of some of them because I'm starting to get out of control with it. I quit buying them. But I only buy them when I find them. And I, for some reason I found them like bam, bam. And now oh, the stream went dry. And then I was like, well, now I got two shelves and I don't have another shelf. So... I got to decide which one I want to keep. You know, I can't keep them all. Shelly at one. Okay, we got Shelly at a dollar. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. <laughs> Last call. And sold to Shelly. Yes, I have dream catchers too. I have one left of the owl right there. Um, I sold the other ones. Let me uh, grab. Well, I'll, on next break, I'll grab it if you, if you want it. It's yours. Let me grab this Gypsy JJ. I think it was you that asked about Bloodstone. Hold on. And then I got this cute little girl's hat. It is a little girl's hat, you guys. And it's adorable. It is. Let me find it here. It is wool. 100% wool felt. Made in the USA. And then it has a name in it, but I can't read it. Let me see what this is. What's so funny? It's a little girl's hat. It's not a Sheena size hat. It's a little girl's hat. Although I thought it was a Sheena size hat, but it's not. It is a really pretty fuchsia. You can't read in there what it says, but it says uh, it is 100% felt wool. So if anybody's interested in a cute little hat, starting bids, $4 to make you holler. That is cute. They're just talking about the time you first met Holy. I did. Holy made me holy crap. I laughed so hard. Oh my god. I was crying. I mean literally I was crying. It it well, the embarrassing part was when people come in, I like to welcome them. And Holy came in and I was like, Welcome in, Holy and it was F word. And I said it because it didn't look dirty. But after I said it, I was like Oh my gosh. And I started laughing and I couldn't stop laughing. And I tried to be serious, but I, I just busted up. I said, forget it. I'm just going to laugh. And I did. So that's what my channel's about. It's about good times, good energy, good people. We're all going through something, but we're here for each other. And that's what it's about. So yes. All right. Well, if anybody decides they need a hat, if you have a little head, it'll fit you. All right, let me, oh, 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 let me show this right here. We have a puka necklace. You guys love pukas. It has a barrel clasp and it is a puka, 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 puka. Let me give you a drop on it. Where in the heck? How do I lose it, guys? I mean, really. Uh, I can't see it from here, so it must be on that side. There it is. Where? Behind that bucket right over there. Oh, that's why I didn't find no, it. Back, 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 back. No, back. Back, back, back. Straight ahead. Put your hand between the buckets. Oh, I see it now. Well, I have white necklaces down there, so it blended in. It blended in. Okay. It is... Eight inch drop on the pukas. Let me check the clasp. I don't know why I always play with these clasps because I always have heck. My fingers, that's one thing that lupus also got whenever I had that heart attack was my hands. But they're, they're so much better. My hands are so much better than what they used to be. Hello, Chef. Drunken Chef Barbecue. Good to see you. Thank you for dropping in. You guys, that's Chef. 
He has a fantastic channel. He also is a cook and he also makes uh, spices. He also has another channel, his family channel called the Marcel family. And they just did a giveaway for being thankful. Starting bid on this is $3 to make you holler. And so if you haven't checked out Chef's channel, take the time to check him out. He has a great channel. He's trying to build his family channel. And so any help is appreciated because we all know how hard it is in this YouTube streets. It's a lot of work, a lot of hustling, and a, you need a lot of help. And so if you don't know Chef, check him out. He's a great guy. I've known him for a long time. Long time. Oh, no, I had to take away my spanners, and I'm just now giving them back because I had a, a troll. A troll was deleting my comments, so I had to fix that problem. So I was like, you know what? I'll just, I had almost 2,000 blue wrenches. So I took them all away, and now I have to add them back. And I decided that if they don't have a channel, then until I get to know them, I'm not giving them one because that, I think that's where I had the issue was <laughs> if they don't have a channel, I'm not going to give them one until I know them. If I know them, like most of these people here that don't have channels, I know uh, they support. And so, and I know they're golden, but you know, new people I don't know, I'm not going to chance it anymore. I learned my lesson the hard way. Roughneck Redneck, how are you doing? Good to see you. Wow, you're still going. I did, I start at 8, so it's not that late, honestly. It takes me a long time to show, and I still got a bunch of rocks to show. A bunch of rocks, and I got skulls, and I got elephants, and I got owls. Oh, I got all kinds of stuff. I got cabochons, too, for you jewelry makers out there. Alright, if nobody's interested in this, I am going to... Uh, go on to the next. If anybody is re-watching and you want this, just screenshot it. Let me know how much I want it because I won't remember and I'll put it in a box for you. So, I always forget to say that. Most of y'all know that, but since we got new people, you know, if you decide you want something and it didn't sell, just email me and I'll take care of you. I really had a question about the wrench. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is the blue wrench for? Where you're able to click on other people's channels and visit their channel because most people aren't in the algorithm. So if you have a really small channel, you're not really out there. Say I go to look you up, Shelly, I'd probably never find your channel. But because you're here, if these people like you, they can click on your channel. If you click on the blue wrench, it'll bring down a menu. And it'll, the very top one says, go to channel. This also protects my channel because when a troll comes in, these people, I have some super moderators in here. I have regular moderators. And what they can do is they can take them, put, block them before they even cause me problems. So if they come in and say something crazy and inappropriate, they're able to take care of it before I don't even... Because when I see stuff like that, it upsets me. Because I do live with anxiety. So it does upset me. And these people love me and they take care of it for me. <laughs> so it's always good to have blue wrenches. But it just makes it easier because, you know, most of the channels are... are sm I'm still a small channel and I'm at 2.17 thousand. I'm still a small channel. So... I'm found in the algorithm, though, but I've made a ton of videos. <laughs> ton. And so, yeah, it just makes it easier. Because then people say, who is that person? I would like to check out their channel. And so it just makes life easy. All right, let me... Yes, he's a good friend of mine. Who, Jose Cuervo? <laughs> UK medic. Okay, let me find some more goodies here, guys. Goodies, goodies. That is fantastic. All right, so we do have, I'm selling it. I chose the one I was keeping, and I'm keep, I'm keeping the moss agate. This one is a big one. It is sunstone. Ron, stop it. I can't keep everything. You said it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, I've never actually seen a sunstone one before. Hi, Charlotte. Not at that side. Is that Gulf Coast Granny in the house? Hi, Charlotte. Are you going live tonight? I'm just curious. Acquiring Minds want to know. You guys, this is Charlotte, my friend, Gulf Coast Granny. She lives in a fantastic place. She's a fantastic cook with a fantastic husband that fixed her fantastic bike. And she's amazing. She really is amazing. She is also on the keto diet. 
and she's the coolest person and I'll get out of here. She hangs out with Grumpus on the weekends. Him back. and Patty Joe. Holy, you, I ain't doing it this time, mister. That's how he tricked me. I'd never seen that channel before. I welcomed, welcomed him in. I said, welcome in, holy. And everybody, all I said on my chat, there was nothing but laughy faces at me. And I laughed because it was funny. I didn't know what to say, honestly. I was speechless. It is a two inch, um, I can't I remember the name of this now. It is a two inch, what's it called? Pendulum. Pendulum. You guys know my brain. Sometimes I, when I start getting low energy, it is sunstone. It is beautiful. We'll do starting bid on this $7 to make you holler. Sunstone's fantastic, by the way. It is a fantastic stone. So this is two inch sunstone. That's a big one. Two inches is big. Hi, Prefa. I'm having trouble seeing the sunstone. Actually editing a video. Awesome, Charlotte. I'm so glad. She hasn't uploaded in a minute. I thought it was something else then. Oh, <laughs> That's what he said. That's what she said. Do yeah, we, it's very pretty. I'm having trouble seeing the sunstone. How pretty it is on the screen. Do you want to give it a quick try? Oh, uh, the light? Okay, turn on the light. All right, it's really pretty and sparkly. Did you get me that Lapidolite box uh, over there? It's not for you. It's on the other side. It's tripwire. Okay, we'll have to get is it. That better? We'll get it next round. I don't know if this is you're seeing it better, but this is uh, sunstone, guys. It's really pretty. It's got sparklies in it. You can see the sparklies and uh, little splotches now. My friend gets confetti sunstone now. It's raw. If anybody wants confetti, I can get some. I have to order it from him. He's in Arizona, so it takes about a week usually. If I can get him around a ship, it takes usually about a week to get it. You can turn that off. It's blinding me. Shelly at seven. Okay, we got Shelly at seven. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Shelly. Congratulations! That is a big one. Um, I can get I can get raw confetti. You know, confetti sunstone just looks like it has a bunch of glitter in it. Really, like a party. And then I can get the regular sunstone. They're raw. They haven't been tumbled. So if anybody needs anything like that, let me know. I can hook you up. And I still have water sapphires. I just haven't run across them yet. I have some over there. The water sapphires I paid fifty dollars a kilo for. They are expensive, but in the metaphysical world, they're fantastic. You know, when I say kilo, people look at me funny. It's like that's how they measure rocks. I mean, seriously. Do what? I got rings. We got rings. What is it? One, two, three. Okay, how much more accurate can you be than one, two, three? It's so much easier than the imperial system. Well, that's true. I think anyway. I'll just forward you my paycheck. <laughs> Shelly, everybody says that. I'm cheaper than a thrift store. I mean, you can come anytime you want. And I don't even... Okay, so invoicing will be Sunday. But then if I go all week... Say if, say if I go live Monday. I usually go live Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But say I decide that, you know what, for a couple hours I'll go live. I won't even invoice, invoice again till next Sunday. So, you know, you can come. And that way you only pay one shipping. So... That's how I do it, just to save people money. All right, so I got, I found, where is it? Here's a Cameo Sterling Silver ring. I don't think I showed y'all that. This is a Cameo Sterling Silver 925 ring. Now, they have not been cleaned, guys. I just, oh, there's that star ring I was going to sell y'all too. Let me show you this one. And then we can go back to rocks. I got rocks too, and skulls. All right, so this one right here is not quite as size. Not quite a size six. That's like a five something. Holy moly. But it's a cameo. An upside down cameo. It is a cameo. It's a vintage ring. You can tell. Look how well it's made. What's so funny? Is Holy in here still? Or hung low? It's time it's Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe's in the house, you guys. Russell Crowe has his own channel. And he is a literal crow. That's very pretty. Starting bid on this, $7 to make you holler. Get them out of my life, guys. Sterling Silver, 925.
It is an oldie, but a goodie. She's pretty. I think I could wear it on my pinky, but that's it. Because I got big, fat fingers. So that is roughly, yeah, about a six. It's a six. Because it's right there at the six. Let me get it up close. We got Carol Ann at seven. If there's no other interest, we're going to count her down. You guys are going to have rings on every finger like me. <laughs> I have rings on every finger, guy. I can't help it. I like them. I, I enjoy wearing rings. And I get them at good prices, so if I lose it, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, I'd be sad, but, you know. And you could always melt them down if you want, because I've been known to do that, too. So this bag right here is all sterling silver 925. What you I'm gonna offer great prices, what you guys don't buy. Then I think either I'll I don't know what to do if I should just hold on to them or if I should just melt them down, sell them at the melted weight. Me too, Brenda. Me too. All right, so where are we at? V needs a Christmas cameo. I got some necklaces too. All right, so Gulf Coast Granny 8, let's count it down. Going once, going twice, last call, and sold to Charlotte. That's a nice ring. It's a heavy one too, Charlotte. All right, let me, I have some cameo necklaces. Let me look over here. I have a designer cameo over here too, but let me find it. I got more than just this. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a brooch. Is that That's the fancy French one, I think. I mean, it don't make it up to me. I'll sell it, too. But, let me look. Charlotte, I got a couple of new cameo uh, necklaces. And as soon as I find it, I'll throw it in your box for. Uh, let's see. There's that. Let me find the bloodstone. Where are you, bloodstone? All right. Yeah. Maybe when I get a break, if you're still here, or I, if I find it before you, if you disappear, then I'll I'll send you a picture. What? Oh, he's staring at the bloodstone. <laughs> I was giving you the Puss in Boots eyeballs, but go ahead. Puss in Boots eyeballs don't work on okay. me. All right, African Bloodstone, guys. It's an egg, and it's beautiful. So freaking beautiful. Ron goes crazy. He's got this some kind of attachment to Bloodstone. It's gorgeous. I don't know what his problem is, but <laughs> I said, I don't buy all this to keep. This is my living. It puts a roof over, food in your belly, roof over your head. I'm not hungry. It's about two and a half inch uh, African bloodstone. Let me get the tape off. The lady stuck tape on the bottom because she was afraid that it would. So even though it has a stand, um, you know, people do what they want to do. Let me get it to focus. This is a fantastic piece of African bloodstone. I've got, it's so shiny. We've got a, there we go. It's so shiny. We've got a, there. All right, African Bloodstone, here is the stand. So the stand comes with it, which you never find. The stands are always separate anytime you buy something. Now I'm holding this. It's not, there it is. It is royalty, you guys. Starting bid on the African Bloodstone is $10. And that is a fantastic price for Bloodstone. And you get the stand with it as well. I wish it wasn't so shiny. You'd be able to see the, the beautiful red in there. But it's so freaking... It's polished really nice. So it's super nice. If it wasn't so polished, it wouldn't be... Well, you can see the reflection. That's a nice piece of bloodstone. This is the only bloodstone. He won't let me sell the other ones. Because he's he's a hoarder when it comes to bloodstone. He's like, I only have my little ball left. You're fine. It only takes one good ball to use for metaphysical properties. Exactly. One good ball. That's only horrible. All right. So we got Cha Cha 10, Gypsy JJ 10. Okay. Let's, 
I can see Ron in it. <laughs> it is shiny. I mean, it's really nice. All right, I have a Bloodstone Sphere. I wonder where you got that, Nightmar. <laughs> Let's count it down for... I think that was Ron's. No kidding. <laughs> All right, going once. Going twice. Last call. And sell to Gypsy JJ. Go, <laughs> <laughs> Coach Granny. It was just Charlotte. So I see the red big spots of it. Yeah, it's it's a fantastic That's one. That's me if I keep trying to keep the merchandise. Yeah, you can't keep this... <laughs> Him keeping the merchandise like me keeping the merchandise. That don't put food on the table. All right, so this one right here is this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Magic has Herman. Magic has Herman. Herman. Herman what? I had the blood skull. He <laughs> rocks, man. He rocks. I was, you know what? Laugh, but I'm doing what I love. And this is not his gig. This is my gig. And it's like, get your damn fingers out of my rocks, boy. You know, I wanted to spread rocks throughout the world. And you know what? I'm doing it. And all the people that need them, get them. And I fucking, I feel good about it. I almost said effing. That's that Holy's fault. Where are you at, Holy? Holy's got me cussing. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry, Ron. That's how I feel about two night more. Me and that Mars too much alike. I'm in the same way. It's like, well, I get over it. Oh, it's hot in here, you guys. I'm gonna have to put on a tank top. I'm wearing this shirt, man. It's hot. It's fuzzy and hot. Okay, so y'all guys got me excited, and I'm trying to decide my eyes. Oh, wow, this is fantastic. Let me throw this egg at him so he can tell me if this is which one is this? Do you remember? I don't think it's lapis. I think this one is soda light, but I'm having him check because my eyes are not the best in the world. Oh, I'm dying, you guys. I'm going to have to remove the hat and keep the hat off. I'm about to go put on a tank top. We're going to get down to business. <laughs> I don't feel right without my Santa hat. He's checking it under the light, looking for pyrite. We can sell a piece of pie right while he's playing with his balls. Buy, buy, buy. It's, an <laughs> egg. it's an egg. It's an egg. It's only if every other word is a cuss word. I believe it's soda light. A soda light, so I thought too. All right, so guys, we have soda light. Soda light egg. The same size as the other one. It's very pretty. They don't have as much white. You know, most soda light is a lot of white and blue. This one has more blue than. Not even really white. Just a little bit of white. Not a lot like you, you usually see a, a lower end soda light. Two and a half inch. This one does not have a stand. So we're going to do $4 for the soda light. $4. $4 on the soda light. It's a perfect little egg. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty blue. And it don't have as much white on there as you usually see. Usually you see a ton of white. Hi, Rachel. Pewdie wouldn't have a channel and monetize it cursing was not allowed. That's true. I didn't think about that, Becca. Mom, before boys is in the house, your tree is pretty. Thank you. Thank you. This is our first tree we've had. Um, this tree right here is the first tree we've had in 10 years. Or I've had in 10 years. Practitioners have used soda light to organize the mind as if, as is said to promote rational thoughts, objective, and perception. Soda light is believed to have the ability to unite logic and intuition and drive for truth with the rise of idealism. I like soda light, and the reason what got me into soda light is they were like, it was like, um, it would help you not like crave bad foods. <laughs> so I was like, oh, yeah, give it to me. I need that in my life. And so, because I like carbs, you guys. I do. Who don't? I mean, really. All right. If there's no interest, I will put this. If anybody decides they need it in their life, you know what to do. Let me know. All right. Up next, we have Mr. Fantastic. And that's not you. Oh, oh let me show you this cool ring. <laughs> Hold on. I dropped the cool ring, you guys. I think it fell in the bucket. Well, 
It's a blue ring. I have to find it. I think it fell in here. In the land of Nod. Ooh, this is a pretty necklace. Pretty weird. Let's see. This necklace right here, it, I know it's glass, but I'm going to tap it because I like tapping. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a cool necklace. I'll show y'all that. Oh. Oh. Another rock necklace. So, different gemstones on there. Now, hand me on that table. There's the most beautiful rose quartz. That would be a great gift for someone. It's a heart. It's right there on my coffee table because I considered keeping it. But I... Right here? Yes. Did I move them? Oh, I moved them when I was trying to find my ring and I was flipping out because I couldn't find my ring. Hold on. We got more. But wait, there's more. This is on a cord necklace. Yes, that's it. I was about to show him this, but I'll come back to that. You have to come over here and find that ring. I can't. I have to find it. Okay, well, we'll find it. If we don't find it, we'll find it. As if I don't got plenty of others. Okay, let me show you this rose quartz necklace. It looks brand new and it would make a beautiful gift. All right, so here is the lobster claw. Here's the back side. Wait till I show you the front. There's the back side. All right, and this is rose quartz with pearls. It looks like real pearls too. Yep, those are real pearls. I could make you him stick it in his mouth. Is that not freaking beautiful, you guys? Do you really want to devalue it that much? Look at that. That is freaking beautiful. I don't know what the metal is, but it looks very... Oh. Hold on, I do know what the metal is. See if that says what it is. Every time I go to keep some, <laughs> I look at it, and it's like, damn it. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Right there in the edge of the back, it says a name. Probably 925. Look and see. That's what it looks like. My eyes don't see great. And I can't find my little eyeball thing still. I know I didn't order one. Here, you need this out magnifying glass. I'll use this. I'm selling it too. As soon as I figure out where I put it. Oh, yes. The Alley magnifying glass. Every reseller needs one of these. Or just anybody in general, really. He's magnifying it with his phone. It's That's a beautiful necklace, though. I really did consider keeping it. I was like, should I? But I already have so many rose quartz necklaces. It's gorgeous. What's it say on the back? It says nothing on the back, but it's gorgeous. It does say something on the back. I've seen it. It's in the edge. It's right before the neck, right at the the hook, the hook, the blah, 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 the loop on the back. A little bit of writing. Oh, I gotta get one of those eyeballs, you guys. Do you see it? Oh, just forget it. Give it to me. They can find it themselves and figure it out. <laughs> it's beautiful, though. Here, put it in my box. He can't see it. I think he needs glasses. Alright, so it's a beautiful necklace. Let me tell you what the drop is on it. That is so gorgeous, you guys. It would make a great gift. Seriously. And it is... Nine and a half inch drop, and you can make it shorter because that is the extender. Starting bid on this is a four dollars to make you hollers. That is gorgeous. Let me get behind the camera so you can see it better. I just can't see making something this fantastic and not being sterling so you guys check into that because my eyes are horrible 
I said I was going to quit saying that, you guys. You're supposed to get on to me. Okay, we got Gypsy JJ at four and Shelly at five. Too much are the operative words, UK. It is pretty. It's very pretty. I mean, it's blingy, the silver on there, and I love the design. That's gorgeous. See right there, you guys, whoever gets it right there. You see something right there? I see something, but I can't see what the heck it is. Right there. So when you get it, look right there and tell and see what it is. But that is beautiful. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. How are you doing? Good to see you. Okay, we got Gypsy JJ at seven. We got Shelly at eight. We got Gypsy JJ at nine. Yeah, it well, the, it looks so promising. It wouldn't surprise me. Because look at it. It's freaking fantastic. That's a fantastic necklace. And then right there is where I see something, but I can't. I, my eyes just ain't. I need to go get new bifocals. But I hate to get glasses because every time I do with the lupus, my eyes change so much. It's a waste of time, waste of money. Okay, we got Shelly at 10. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Shelly. I mean, you can't even get a gift that nice at Dollar General <laughs> for $10. Prices are crazy, guys. I'm going to show you all this because somebody needs it in their life. It is a magnifying owl. And it... Now, if you're a reseller or something, this is cool to have. I have one. It is cool to have because you can wear it around your neck or you can wear it around the house. And if you're like me and you need to be able to see, it's clear. You just, you need to wipe it off. It's dusty. But it's an owl magnifying glass. You're magnified. Magnif. Where's my camera so I can try to play with y'all? There we are. <laughs> you're magnified. So everybody needs one of these in their life. Starting bid on it's $3.00. And I'll tell you how long the drop is on it. You can just put this around your neck if you're reading or whatever. Or you're you're trying to pick out a sticker. <laughs> I don't know. You can use it for anything. But magnifying glass, you can use it in survival situation if you needed a campfire. It's got many uses. Alright. Let me straighten that up. About 19 inch drop, so you could, uh, yeah. Get on there, Hootie. There you go. All right, we got Charlotte at three, we got Gypsy JJ at seven. I'm sure they'll love it. It's, yeah, it's really nice. Can't go wrong with a magnifying glass. What's a five seed? <laughs> yeah, right. I know. <laughs> Handy dandy. All right. If everybody's out, we'll go ahead and count it down for Gypsy JJ. Going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Gypsy JJ. Congratulations, Gypsy. That's fantastic. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Besides me need oh yeah this glass neck oh we got this this is um this is a really nice ca uh, cabbed piece of uh it's not tiger's iron tiger's iron so it's already been drilled for you let me show you how fantastic that tiger's iron is all right that's gorgeous you guys that's a nice piece of tiger's iron not Tiger's Eye, it's Tiger's Iron. And it's beautiful. It, it, I mean, you can use this actually as a palm stone. You could use it as a worry stone. You can wear it as a necklace. 
you could put it on your third eye because it's pretty good size. It's nicely polished. It looks nice. Magic would like the smooth eye egg for four dollars. Okay, Magic. Uh, let's see. Where to put it? Oh, got it. There you go, Magic. Okay, so this is two inch. Starting bit on the two inch, three dollars to make you holler, and it's pretty. It's real pretty. And that's Tiger's Iron. Tiger's Iron is believed to be a rare and potent threefold stone. It grounds energies, protects the spirit, and manifests the will. As such, practitioners are weary when pairing it with other stones, least it supercharge them. Tiger's Iron is affiliated with the root and sacral and solar plexus char chakra. Yeah, it's nice. It's real nice. Alright, we got magic at three. If there's no other interest, we're going to count it down for him. Going once. I'm going too fast for Ronnie. <laughs> Alright, going once. Going twice. Last call. And sold to Magic. Congratulations, Magic. That's fantastic. Alright, here's this glass necklace, you guys. That I was saying, that's weird. But it's cool. It's it's weird, but it's cool. I've never seen beads like this. Like little spaceships. Let me tell you how big it is. Dang heater came on again, guys. It's gonna kill me. It's so hot. Alright, 18 inch drop. Starting bid on the glass necklace. Three dollars to make you holler. Three dollars to make you holler. Holler. And it's glass. It's like yellow and orange colors. All right, we got Gypsy JJ at three. Did you say, did you say glass? Did you say, yes, glass. Glass. All right, no other interest. We're going to count it down. I can see it hanging around your net magic. Congrats. Yeah, it's beautiful. Tiger's Iron, believe it or not, I don't get that much of it. Usually, you would think I would, but, you know, it... I don't know why I don't, actually. It's a great stone. All right, going once, going twice. Last call. Oh, Becca popped in at four. New to me. Oh, yeah, I love it. I got into Tiger's Iron when I was really on my journey trying to figure out... Um, I was trying to elevate my spirituality to figure out where I'm supposed to be, where I'm going, my path. And I found Tiger's Iron to be really useful. Alright, Gypsy JJ at 5. Oh yeah, it, it, you're going to be surprised. It's, that camera don't do it justice. Alright, we got Becca at 6. I'm sweating like mad. Holy moly, man. I'm old, man. I get hot. When I get to work and I get hot. Yeah, I like Tiger's Eye too. They're fantastic stones. It made me so happy. I saw Magic was wearing his eyeball. It made me so happy, you guys. Alright, Becca at six. Let's go ahead and count it down. Going once, going twice. Last call. And sold to Becca. I get everything from chips to little rocks to big rocks to big chip necklaces to big ball bracelets ball that's an ongoing thing around here but uh let me look through this i have some rocks uh cabochons where are they this one I got these crazy bags of rocks, you guys. They're natural minerals, the real deal. 
but I don't know what the heck these are. They look like some of them are broke, some of them ain't. Most of them ain't. I don't know what the what they weigh. I can I, mean, I can weigh them for you. Huh? Dan, good morning. Uh, this one is red jasper. This one is, I believe, obsidian. I might need to keep these and put them on my eagle. My eagle's wings. Man, that's wild. That's obsidian. I can tell. Oh, that's sharp. That's obsidian, man. Check that. So it's, it's whole bags of little pieces of rock. Would that be cool, my eagle's wings? Yeah, these are all rocks, all cabs. Um, I don't know. I don't know why they did them like this or what. I mean, you can use them for whatever you want, I guess. But I've been trying to think about... I don't know what this one is. It's an orange, which could be... There's several things it could be. And then there's white. Let me see if this is a uh, field spar. Or see if I can figure out what it is. I gotta turn off that heater, guys. It's gonna kill me. I might have to put on tank top. Because I'm dying. I'm old and I'm dying. It's so hot. This one. I don't think it's moonstone because I don't see a glimmer in it. Bags. I do. I get hot. <laughs> Shelly, everybody does that. It, it, you know, even selling a dollar, it, you know, it can get crazy. I know, because I've been to the dollar's tree before. Alright, let me dig in my bag of luxury here. Yes, I got a bag of cabochons. My phone just died. 